All right, I've uh, got the base coats painted on uh, with airbrush, and I went ahead off camera and painted kind of preliminary spots on here that I will go in and, and put in the black um, dots and the red dots that go in that go in it. Um, this is the part I hate the most on these because once I start getting paint on the on the carving, I start seeing a lot of mistakes and that I didn't catch, and it, the paint just seems to bring them out. But um, anyway, it is what it is at, at this point. So um, I'm going to finish it up here um, by starting off with doing some thin glazes. Um, dry brushed on to uh, start building up the color and uh, making intensifying the color on it. So I'm going to start off by putting uh, mixing some uh, olive green for the top and they have a little bit of a blue pale blue streak that goes down the side um, that'll kind of make these white spots more of a silver appearance. Uh, eventually we'll color wash um, the bottom part. So let me get started on the uh, top here. I just one I'm just looking for here is an olive green um, cast, and I'll add a little bit of different colors here just to build it up. What I'm using now is a. Um, There's a, it's a metallic green. It's kind of an olive green. And then I used a, um, this is called English ivy green, but it's, it's kind of an olive green. And then I put a little bit of uh, burnt umber in it. And I probably will end up putting a little touch of black in it, possibly. And I need to add just a little bit more orange get it back to more of a green tint and this looks darker than what I need but it goes on in real real thin layers so it starts off real light and then I build it up to uh, that way. I like to use a fairly, fairly stiff bristle brush for this. Uh, it's soft, but it's also stiff at the same time. And and it's just a just a cheap brush that I got from Hobby Lobby that was in a set that just turned out that it worked fine for what I do. So I thin it down with water to it's a real thin ink soupy consistency. And then you start painting on the uh, layers.
Now this does kind of dull down the uh, the spots that I put on, but I'll be going back over those also with washes and thicker paint, actually. All right. Got me another palette here. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna take care of the blue washes along the cheek. And I may need a little bit smaller brush for that.
what I added in here just then, it's a top coat. It's an iridescent top coat. I'll get it out in a minute. It has a, it's hard to explain, and I know it's not going to show up on the camera. It's just something you'd have to see in real life, but it gives it a, it gives it an iridescence um, that fish have. Um, and like I say, you won't, you, you won't be able to see it on camera. Just have to take my word for it. <laughs> and the same with this I'll just start off with very little on the brush and just start lightly brushing building up building up that little blue hue that's on the side of their face I don't know if that shows up or not a little bit And I'll carry that. Down the length of the body. On the side of here. You know. <laughs> and I'm, I'm. I'm describing this. And. And trying to show my process and I don't know what the heck I'm doing actually this is the very first time I've ever painted a brown trout carving so this is just a kind of a a hit or miss process for me um, luckily I do have I have painted brown trout before, so I, I do have a color scheme in mind, and I, and I know what it's supposed to look like, and and I know colors well, so that's, that's kind of a plus, so I'm not completely blind on what I'm doing, uh, just that this is new for me. Uh, like I say, this is the very first time I've ever I've ever painted a carving of a brown trout. It's the first time I ever carved a brown trout. And you know, and I have done four other fish, so I do, I do have a feel for how the paint goes on, um, and especially how this paint works. I know a lot of people that's been carving for years, the masters probably use 90% of airbrush paints and maybe enamels and um, but I'm just doing with what I'm comfortable with and what I know, and it seems to be working all right so far. Um, people seem to like my other work, my other, the other projects I've done. So I'm doing something right, I guess. It's got just enough blue there. I don't know if you can see it in this photo or not. But there's just a tiny bit of blue and it just kind of fades down into the side here, but it's mostly on the behind the eye and cheek. So uh, this is an actual painting one that somebody did, but they've added it in. They've added it in also along to there, so that's what I'm doing on mine. I, and I, I like the way that looked, so. All right, I think I'm gonna start adding some of the
spot detail to it now. So let me get out my black. I may at some point redefine the rings around the dots. Um, so right now I'm going to start putting the dots in the black specks and I will um, probably redefine the spots on this one as I go. I just basically put those down to give me an idea of where I wanted them to go so um, I'll just have to redefine them here as I, as I go. If that makes sense, hopefully. I'm still a little loopy from COVID, I think. I'm, I'm hoping there are some experts out there, master carvers, fish carvers, that might see this. And I welcome any kind of criticism in the comments that you want to give me. That's, I mean, that's how I learn is for, you know, for people to tell me what, what they think looks right and what not. I mean, even if you're not a carver, if you're just an artist that paints, uh, any ideas and hints and tips and tricks would be welcome. I would love to hear from taxidermists. Um, I mean, you guys are... Especially people that's, especially fish, specialize in fish. Now, I know these are kind of sparse here, but I'm going to go ahead and do an even spacing down through here. Then I'll go back and add more till it gets to the, uh, the, the I don't know what you would call it, the, the number of spots. And I know, again, that varies. that varies from fish to fish, from region to region. Some of them just seem to be completely spotted. Others are more sparse. So I just need to pick something in between and that's what I'm gonna do. All right, rather than doing now, before I finish these black, I'm gonna mix up a red here so that I can start adding those in as well. Um, I know it's kind of a darker maroon color, so I'm gonna add in a little bit of a 
a little bit of raw umber just to kind of tone down the red a little bit. I add in some of this iridescent color to top that off. Where'd it go? Here it is. I wish I had some deeper blue to put in that, but I don't have any, so I'm just going to cheat with black here. Always mix up way too much paint than what I need. Let's do a couple of red spots here. Make it needs a little darker. I don't know if I'm liking this, I'm going to have to make a run to the hobby store to get the right red. Yeah, that might work. Yeah, I think that'd be all right.
and sprinkle a few of the reds around over here also. They can kind of be drying. All right, back to the bike.
All right, so I've got all those covered in, but I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna put in more because I'm, I think it's gonna need more. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some more here and there, and then I'll, I'll do the halos around them. these will get the ones on the top here will get another wash over them all of them actually may get another wash over them and then highlight it again or tipped again I should say so I'm not I'm not done with the with the washes of color yet Starting to look like a brown trout. What I'm doing now, I'm just kind of filling in some of these spaces where I, I think it needs just a few more spots. And then I'll have to hand paint the halos around them. Which I intended to do anyway to highlight. gonna be time consuming but I'll probably do it in a time lapse so that it's not going to sit and watch it all Okay, I think I'm going to come to a stopping point right here and pick back up on part six. This is going to be running long to uh, get this whole process in here. I was hoping to get it done on this one, but it's just going to be a little too long. So um, look for part six coming up here shortly. Thanks.